Welcome to the deep dive where we take those sources you sent in and really um, unpack them. Okay. You've brought us a real beast of a track today. Yeah. Cannabis's Poet Laureate Infinity from the album For Whom the Beat Tolls. Right. It's a it's known for its lyrical density. Yeah. But we're going to go beyond just, you know, complex rhymes today what? and really unpack what makes this a landmark track in hip hop. Okay. And joining me for this deep dive is an expert in hip hop history and lyrical analysis. Right. Are you ready to get your cannabis on? Let's just say this track was a game changer. I knew we had the right person for this. Yeah. Okay, listeners, buckle up because cannabis doesn't hold back. No, he doesn't. And neither will we. Right out of the gate, cannabis declares Poet Laureate Infinity as the greatest rhyme of all time. Yeah, bold statement. He's not just aiming for like a catchy song here. Right. He's going for a thousand bars of intricate wordplay. What's yeah. your take on that kind of ambition? Uh, It's a bold statement, no doubt. And it sets the tone for the entire track, you know? Right. Cannabis isn't just rapping, he's staking a claim in hip hop history. He's huh? saying, I'm here to raise the bar for lyrical skill. And he doesn't waste any time backing up that claim. No, he doesn't. He jumps right into these incredibly dense verses, packing in multi-syllabic rhymes, internal rhymes. Like he's trying to fit a whole dictionary into every line. It's a lot. It's almost overwhelming, but in a way that demands your attention. Exactly, exactly. He's using language in a way we rarely hear in hip hop right. with lines like um, systemic neosynapsis. Whoa. Now, for those who haven't brushed up on their neuroscience lately, right. that refers to how the connections between neurons in your brain are formed and strengthened. Yeah. He's bringing some serious vocabulary to the table. It's like he's saying, if you want to keep up, you better bring your A game. Yeah, yeah. But it's not just about showing off, yeah, right? Yeah, right. There's a purpose behind the complexity. Absolutely. Right? Take, for example, the line, um, Germain, father, author, poor pauper pastor. Yep. It seems like a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. But he's actually playing with his own name, Jermaine Williams. And layering in these different roles, he embodies a father, an author, a pastor of words. It's a subtle way of adding depth and meaning to his rhymes. So he's flexing his vocabulary and his lyrical dexterity. Yes. But he's also crafting these intricate word pictures that make you really stop and think. Yeah. What are some of the key themes that he explores throughout Poet Laureate Infinity? One of the most prominent themes is this idea of superiority and competition. Okay. Cannabis is asserting his dominance as a lyricist, straight up. Yeah. Lines like, um, the rhymes are raw, deeper than yours, or most MCs try to clone me lyrically, leave no room for misinterpretation. He's not exactly known for being humble, is he? No. No, not really, but that's part of what makes him so compelling, right? Right. That unwavering self-belief, even if you don't always agree with them. Exactly. The, you kind of got to respect it, though. He's not afraid to be provocative, to challenge the status quo. Yeah. And within that, he also delves into themes of spirituality, consciousness, wow. even the nature of reality itself. Right. Like when he raps, the universe is not far behind waves, bars, and rhymes. Thank you. He's connecting his art form to something bigger, something yeah. cosmic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and he doesn't shy away from social commentary either. Oh, no. He's got a lot to say about the music industry, societal issues, and the human condition in general. So he's not just rapping to entertain. He's using his platform to make a statement. Yeah, to get people thinking about the world around them. To get people thinking. Yeah, right. And he does it all while crafting these incredibly vivid narratives and images with his words. Yeah. He's a master storyteller when he wants to be. And that's where we really start to see Cannabis's skill as a storyteller come into play. Right. He doesn't just rap, he builds entire worlds with his words. For sure. Right. Yeah. Take, for example, that passage where he paints this picture of being stranded at Faraday Base near the South Pole. How does Cannabis make you feel the isolation? The danger. He uses such evocative language, like when he describes um, the South Pole's longest ice strait. Right. And the uh, 400 mile wind belts blowing. Wow. You can practically feel the wind whipping around you, the biting cold seeping into your bones. It's like listening to a movie unfold in your mind. Yeah. He transports you to these different worlds, wow. these intense situations, and his flow is so captivating that you're right there with him experiencing it all. Yeah. And then there's that line about the four and a half foot beings with big black eyes. Ooh, yeah. What's 
What's your take on that? Who are these beings? What's their significance? That's where cannabis leaves it up to the listener to interpret. Are they literal beings? Right. Metaphorical representations of something else. Right. Creative blocks. The beauty is in the mystery. The beauty is in the mystery and how it makes you think and come up with your own conclusions. He wants to spark your curiosity, make you question what's possible. Yeah, yeah. He's not just giving you answers. He's making you work for it. For sure. Which I have to say is a pretty bold move for a hip hop artist. It is, but that's cannabis for you. Why? He's always pushing the boundaries, challenging expectations. And that's just a taste of what we're diving into today with Poet Laureate Infinity. We've only just begun to scratch the surface of this lyrical labyrinth. Stay tuned, because we're about to go even deeper into Cannabis's world. Yes. We'll explore more of his intricate wordplay, his thought-provoking themes, and his unwavering belief in the power of language. Right. And we're back. You know, before, uh... Before we were talking about those vivid narratives cannabis creates, right? But he also doesn't shy away from social commentary, does he? Not at all. Right. He's got uh, he's got some pointed critiques about the music industry, calling it Hollywood hip hop, right? Where authenticity is often sidelined for commercial success. He talks about how celebrities adopt little snot-nosed bugaboos from off the block. Wow. Really highlighting what he sees as exploitation within the industry. And it's not just like that he's calling out the industry. Right. It's the way he does it with such conviction. Yeah. It's like he's saying, I see through the facade and I'm not afraid to say it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. He's challenging listeners to question what they're consuming. Right. To think critically about the messages being presented to them. Yeah. Cannabis isn't here to sugarcoat anything. He's here to make you think. Right, and, and it's interesting because he does that by... Um, yeah. Which brings us to another really interesting aspect of... Um, of Poet Laureate Infinity. Okay. Cannabis directly addresses the listener throughout the track. Right. Almost like he's having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yeah. What do you make of that approach? It's a bold move, for sure. Yep. It breaks down the barrier between artist and audience. Right. Creating this sense of intimacy and immediacy. It's like he's inviting the listener into his mind. Wow. To grapple with these complex ideas alongside him. And he doesn't just want you to listen passively, right? Right. He's challenging you to keep up with him. Yeah. To decipher his rhymes and uncover those deeper layers of meaning. He's demanding active listening, which isn't something you often encounter in mainstream hip hop. Right. Like. This is not, Yeah. it's not background music, yeah. it's an experience. It is. That's a workout for your brain. Yes, it is. Right. Yes. Um, speaking of unexpected elements, I have to ask about that line where Cannabis mentions, the ice truck killer will be observing me perform surgery. Okay. Now, for those who haven't seen the show, Dexter, yeah. the ice truck killer is a uh, serial killer. Right. Cannabis throws in these pop culture references that seem completely out of left field. Right. And yeah. it's no. and that's what makes it so fascinating. He's constantly keeping you on your toes. Yes. Making you wonder what's coming next. It's like he's saying, just when you think you figured me out, I'm right. going to throw a curveball your way. I'm going to do something completely different. Right. And he does it with such precision, weaving these disparate elements into a cohesive whole. Wow. It's all part of his lyrical mastery, his ability ability to control language and bend it to his will. It's like he's conducting a symphony of words. Yes. With all these different instruments and textures coming together to create something truly unique. 100%. And and yeah. within that symphony, there's this incredible sense of structure and progression. Right. He's not just freestyling for 1,000 bars. Right. There's a clear narrative arc. Right. A beginning, a middle, and an end. He'll like he'll build up this elaborate metaphor, yeah. Then break it down and build it back up again, right? All while maintaining this incredible flow and lyrical density. It's like watching a master craftsman at work. Yeah, you can see the skill and intentionality behind every single line. And within that craftsmanship, yeah. there's also this raw honesty, yeah. this vulnerability that shines through. Absolutely. He's he's not afraid to be introspective, yeah. to delve into his own struggles and contradictions. Like when he raps about the flood okay, and right, making yeah. a raft out of empty milk gallon bottles for survival. Oh, very, yeah. It's a powerful image yes. that speaks to resilience to overcoming adversity a hundred percent he's he's not just a rapper he's a survivor right and he's sharing his story with the world and he's doing it in a way that's um and he's doing it both thought-provoking and musically compelling 
in a way that's both thought-provoking and musically compelling. Right. Yeah, he's pushing the boundaries of what hip-hop can be, yes. both lyrically and thematically. And that brings us to a really important question. Yeah. What is the lasting impact of Poet Laureate Infinity? That's a big one. It is a big one. But I think it's safe to say that this track solidified Cannabis's place as a lyrical powerhouse. Okay. An innovator who wasn't afraid to challenge the status quo. He raised the bar for what was possible in hip hop. He did. Both in terms of lyrical complexity and thematic depth. Absolutely. And and he yeah, right. and he inspired countless other artists to push their own boundaries, right. to experiment with language and form. He showed that hip hop could be more than just catchy hooks and party anthems. Right. It could be a platform for intellectual exploration, social commentary, and pushing the very limits of language itself. 100%, 100%. No. And that's a legacy that continues to resonate today. So as we, uh, as we approach the end of our deep dive into um, Poet Laureate Infinity, right. we, we have to ask, did Cannabis achieve what he set out to do? Right. Did he create the greatest rhyme of all time? Well, that's a question for the ages, isn't it? Right. It's subjective, of course, but oh, there's no denying the sheer ambition. Yeah. The technical mastery, the depth of thought that went into this track. He set out to create a masterpiece. He did. And whether you love it or hate it, you can't deny its impact. You cannot deny the impact. Yeah, right. No, yeah. it's a track that demands to be heard, dissected, and debated. Yes. And that in itself is a testament to its power. And on that note, yes. let's wrap up this deep dive into okay. Cannabis's Poet Laureate Infinity. But before we go, expert speaker, any final thoughts for our listeners? Just this. Don't take my word for it. Yeah. Go listen to Poet Laureate Infinity for yourself. There you go. Engage with the lyrics. Unpack the metaphors. Yeah. And decide for yourselves whether cannabis achieved his goal. I love it. And if you want to dive even deeper into the world of cannabis and hip-hop lyricism, be sure to check out the C-Radio podcast on Spotify and the Rippers Unite YouTube channel. Yes. They're fantastic resources for anyone who loves language and the art of hip hop. It's a journey worth taking, that's for sure. And listeners, that's what we want you to do. Go experience Poet Laureate Infinity for yourselves. Don't just listen to it, engage with it. Unpack those lyrics, sit with the metaphors, and let us know what you think. Did cannabis create the greatest rhyme of all time? That's for you to decide. Exactly. There's no right or wrong answer here. What matters is that you're thinking critically, engaging with the art, and maybe even discovering a new appreciation for the power of language. And who knows? Maybe it'll inspire you to go on your own deep dive. Right. To explore the nooks and crannies of a topic that sparks your curiosity. That's what we live to hear. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's what the deep dive is all about. There you go. Igniting that spark of curiosity and giving you the tools to explore it further. 100%. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure um, yeah. unpacking Poet Laureate Infinity with you today. It's been fun. It's been a good one. This has been a really fascinating deep dive. Lots to dig into. Right. Yeah. And listeners, thank you for joining us on this lyrical journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep.